right, this is for year 11 methods. We're going to look for the shortcut for coming from the square, and this will save you a lot of time. So the idea is um, you'd want to go straight to turning point form from this. Okay, how do we do that? Now, we know that the coefficient of the x squared term is 1, so we can go straight ahead and look at the square. So my first step is to put a brackets. I'll put an x in the bracket, and I want to, in the bracket, for the number term, I want to take half of this. So I want to halve the coefficient of the x term. So half, which gives me negative 3. Half negative 6 is negative 3. What do I do with this negative 3 now? Well, I have to make sure I have a negative um, after the bracket always. And what I do with the negative 3 is I square it. So the square of negative 3 is positive 9. So I squared the, nine term, the negative 3 term. And then what I do with the final term uh, in our original equation, the constant term, is I drop it down. So I, whatever it says there, I just put it down. So we can just simplify this whole thing, this whole equation, into negative 8. And I can read the turning point as 3 negative 8. As you can see, this method is a lot quicker once you know how to do it. So let's do another example. We've got, um, again, the coefficient's 1, so we can go ahead and click square straight away. I put my brackets in there. Now, the number term will be half of negative 8, which is negative 4. After brackets, I always put a negative, and then I square this number. So negative 4 squared is 16. And I drop I drop the plus 3 term. So the plus 3 there. So what I did was I squared that term. As a result, we've got x minus 4 squared uh, plus negative 13. Okay, and the turning points of my graph, or if, I, if this was a graph, would be 4, negative 13. So, summarizing, we put a brackets, put an x, and then we halve the middle term, or the x, the coefficient of the x term. We put a negative here, always put a negative there, we square the whole thing, so we square negative 4 we get positive 16 so we put a 16 here and then we drop the constant term at the end now let's do a more complicated example now we, as you can see the coefficient is not um, 1 anymore so we need to take the factor of 3 out now again since I've taken a factor of 3 out the coefficient of x squared is now 1 so all I have to do is repeat the process of completely square. So I go brackets x, the half half of this term is negative 4 over 6 squared, subtract, so there's always a minus sign, um, the square of this, so negative 4 on 6 squared is the same as 16 on 36, and I drop this down the bottom, so when I drop it I get 5 over 3. Now, I need to simplify that fraction inside. I've got negative 16 on 36 plus 5 over 3. Negative 16 on 36 uh, plus, we want that over 36, so we times it by 12. 5 times 12 is 60. So negative 16 plus 60 should give me uh, 40. 44. So we should get 3 x. Uh, this can be simplified to 2 thirds squared um, plus 44 over 36. Obviously, I can simplify that even further. Uh, 44 over 36. So 22 over 22 over. 18 or 11 over 9.
plus 11 over 9. If I want to find the actual turning point, I need to re expand this because I've got a fr I've taken a free outside. So I've got 3x 2 thirds plus 3 times 11 on 9 is 33 over 9. And 33 over 9 can be simplified. We know that 3 goes into that 11 times. So I'll re simplify that. That should be 3x 2 thirds squared. Uh, plus 11 on 3 and the turning point if I were to ask that if I were asked that question would be uh, 2 thirds and 11 over 3 2 thirds and 11 over 3 basically what I'm trying to teach you is how to complete the square using the quick method so summarizing if I have the coefficient of 1 on the x squared then I can go ahead and complete the square. I put a brackets x minus well x uh, half of the number in front of the x term, which is negative four on six, and then I put a negative after the bracket, and I square the number inside the bracket, and I get sixteen on thirty-six. I drop the constant term down the bottom, and then all I have to do is just simplify.